Hello dear students of Science Castle. Today we have a very special class. Today we're cooking. Anything what we're cooking? What are we cooking today? Sophie. Candy. We're cooking candies today. And chocolate. And chocolate. My yes. favorite. Yes. All children like um, candies and chocolate, right? So that's why we have a little helper today that will be cooking with us and um, so you can learn from her and from us and do your own candies at home. I believe we have around 25 different recipes so um, candies and uh, we're gonna show you today how you can cook them. Yeah, and it also comes with a great companion book and it has a lot of information yeah. about the history of candies and um, a little bit of food science. Mm -hmm. And the first chocolate? Um, well that was, was in 1845 and that's Switzerland. In, in Switzerland, yeah, in Europe. Yeah, that's why European chocolate is still... It's still so good! Yeah. <laughs> They're very good. Um, and you would be surprised to find out that, for example, your favorite um, jelly beans were uh, first invented only in 1976, mm -hmm. but they're only 30 years old, Billy. I don't know. Yeah, so if you to taste it, no, normally children like chocolate, right? So Sophia's gonna taste it and tell me how it tastes. <laughs> it doesn't taste good at all. So how does it taste? Mm, very bitter. bitter. <laughs> very bitter. <laughs> you don't want to give it back to me? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So the way we're gonna do it, I put some hot water in the big pot and um, it's boiling now, so it's really, really hot. And I'm gonna put this pot inside uh, the big one. Yeah. So the chocolate is ready. Um, if the chocolate is not liquid enough, you can put a little bit of coconut oil in it, uh, but I don't need it for me, it works just fine. And I'm also using this form to create a, a chocolate egg and then we can put something inside. Um, you can put a little toy inside or a little candies and do it as a gift. It doesn't matter. So I'm gonna put a little stick right here. This also comes with your kit. And then we'll do a chocolate lollipop here. So this is our Santa Claus. This is his front. It's he's gonna consist of two parts, the front and the back. Okay, so what happens with the egg when you close it, right? See, there are little holes on the sides. See, when I, when I close it, then the excessive chocolate will come out through those holes. Okay, now while we're waiting for our chocolate to um, get hard so we can decorate it, we're gonna make another very famous type of candies. They're called hard candies. And um, thermometer is um, the tool that you're gonna use all the time while uh, working with um, hard candies. So you always have to be really careful checking on the recipe what the temperature should be to make the right candy. For example, if you boil sugar too much, then you're gonna get caramel. And if you're trying to make a lollipop, it's too late. So, um, mm -hmm. The other important ingredient is um, corn syrup. So corn syrup allows us to work with um, hot sugar a little longer. Looks like Maxi already had a little sugar, huh? <laughs> he needs some sugar. A little sugar <laughs> high or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, Maxi, so what's your favorite color for the lollipop? Green. Green, okay, so we're gonna make a green lollipop. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna use um, a cup and a quarter of sugar. So I'm gonna add six spoons of juice. You can use water or any juice you like. So do you have it on a high heat right now? or is it I just have it on a high heat. It should always be on a very high heat. And um, it needs to be worked on really quickly. The temperature for the lollipop should always be at 300 Fahrenheit. Um, if you um, cook it too long, then it's going to become a caramel. That's not what we want. And I'm actually going to prepare um, a couple of sticks here that are going to be our future lollipops. Wow, it's getting really green, huh? Okay, we're ready to use our thermometer. And I'm gonna put a thermometer to see um, what the temperature is. Ooh, that looks Ooh. nice. Yep. Looks like out of a witch kitchen somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost magic. Okay, now you can see the temperature reach 300 degrees. We're done. So what I normally do, I pour it right in cold water, see? So I pour it carefully in cold water and it starts creating these really funny crystals. Okay, I don't need this piece. Okay. Ooh, <laughs> How about this? <laughs> so 
definitely can take them off. And then you can use this tool to take mm. them off. It tastes very nice, let me tell you. Oops. Yeah. Gummy beers are actually also from Germany, like chocolate, believe mm -hmm. it or not. All right, so we'll, we'll pour as we go along here. Um, so it's a year-round thing you can enjoy, not only for Christmas. So Maxi, what do you think? Is that pretty? Impressive. Mm -hmm. So now we're ready to put this in the refrigerator. We could use food, food color and um, put those in the strawberry or in the banana shape. And that will look very, very pretty. And you can see your kit comes with little um, feet. And it's less, and you can get it out. Perfect. See. There you go. Okay, here's one piece of mm. Santa. And here's our um, chocolate lollipop. It just easily comes out. Mm. Yeah, you get it? Noise. And I will just stir in the almonds. Mm. They look so festive when you put them in, in our little forms here. Very pretty. There's many more recipes in the, in the book and you can use the kit. Um, and here are all the candies that we've made today. They all look awesome. Enjoy them. Hopefully you got the same results.